temptation comes in lots of shapes and sizes. But when it comes packaged like this and rings your doorbell, then without a word presses a thousand dollars into your hand and beckons you out to a waiting car, well, that's when you admit the only thing you can't resist is temptation. Thank you. Tell me, uh, do you ever speak? Shh. Well, how would it be if we made hand signals? <laughs> That's better. Would you mind telling me where we're going? That's uh, quite an answer. Well, if you've got to go, it's the only way. Nice little place you have here. Ben Kirsch, glad you could come. No. Get lost, the pair of you. Who is she? I don't know, some bit player. Young lady? Now, oh, why did she bring me here? Do you want a drink? No, an answer. People tell me you never get involved in anything unless you're interested. So, I made it interesting. Now, it's getting exceedingly dull, so if you'll excuse me. I haven't finished. I have. See this. There's ten grand in every pile. English pounds, Swiss or French francs, American dollars. You can have anyone you want. Mr. Kirsch, you have been buying people for too long. So whatever it is you want, the answer is no. I've got to talk to you. Please! They're going to murder my daughter! My daughter will die. There's only one person who can stop it. You! Simon Templer. Mr. Templer, make yourself comfortable. Arnie, drinks. Well, now. Well, now, what would you like? An introduction. Arnie Garrett, Simon Templer. I'll take bourbon. I'm Mr. Kirsch's personal assistant. Arnie is my office boy. He likes to give himself fancy titles. Mr. Templer drinks scotch. What do you know of me, Templer? 
Oh, you're a movie producer. You make big money and bad pictures. Very big money. And I've been married four times. Somewhere along the line, I had myself a daughter. She's headstrong, selfish, boy crazy. Well, I care about her. Plenty. And she's being kidnapped. You'll judge for yourself. I have a film unit shooting in the south of France. They fly the dailies back to me at the end of every shooting day. I want you to watch them. I had uh, rather not. I've seen some of your films. I didn't write this script. Barney, the drinks! Please sit down, Mr. Templer. Cheers. This is a visual ransom note, Mr. Kirsch. I don't want you to have any doubt about the fact that I've uh, kidnapped your daughter. <laughs> Take a good look at her, Mr. Kirsch. Take a good look at her. Unless you follow my instructions precisely, this is the last time you'll ever see her alive again. <laughs> tell him, sweetheart. Tell him. Tell your ever-loving buddy we are not joking. Daddy, please. Please do whatever they ask. They get me away from the place. Very good, very, very good, sweetheart. So, Pops, you want her there. Well, here's what you do. There is a room booked at the Hotel de Paris in Nice. It's in the name of Mr. Smith. Have somebody check in there not later than midnight on the 8th. He will await my instructions. Oh, one other thing. One thought about the police and you will have your daughter back in small pieces. That's all, Pops. Accept the money. Brace yourself. The sum is precisely one million dollars. Take a good look at her. Is she worth it? <laughs> That was for real, Mr. Templer. I can see it was. When did you last hear from your daughter? A postcard, ten days ago. She was on vacation in Paris. And that film just arrived along with the dailies? That's right, from Nice. I checked everything. Loaders, camera report sheets. All I know is that two cans of film were shipped by the location unit, but three arrived for processing, and nobody knows how or where it came from. What do I do? You pay. You can afford it. Well, I can afford it a dozen times over, but where's the guarantee they won't take the money and then kill her? Well, nobody gives guarantees in this sort of caper. You play it by ear. You have money in France? Yeah, it can be arranged. But you say I should go through with this, just as they say? I'll let you know later. After I've checked into the Hotel de Paris as Mr. Smith. <laughs> Hello? Smith here. Yes, put it through. Templer, Ben Kirsch. Have you heard anything? No, nothing yet. Well, you'll call me when anything breaks, huh? Of course I will. Okay. Now listen, Arnie Garrett is flying down with an authority for you to withdraw the money. Is there anything else you need? No, not at the moment. What time's Arnie get here? Hold on. contact. When? Three this afternoon. I'd better get down and meet Arnie. I'll be in touch. Everything okay? Good. Are you absolutely certain how we play this? Once we're satisfied that Mr. Smith is alone, I'll take him into the hut. You want to see the girl? Not before we see the money. 
Do you think Kirsch will play it straight? I'm not sure, but in case our Mr. Smith is a cop, you'll be out of sight but handy, huh? Fine. Lose the car. Nice thought. The banks are open. Our Mr. Smith is probably collecting the money this very minute. Never been this close to a million bucks before. Or a million of anything else, for that matter. Mind if I have a look? Go ahead. Beautiful. Something happened has gone by. Where to now? The local film studios. You think somebody on the unit might be tied in with the kidnapping? It's possible. I want to see the genius who handles the special effects. <coughs> it's great, isn't it? Pull that smoke from a little container like this, eh? Any colour you want, too. Yeah, no more, please. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see a yellow one? No, thanks. It's not quite what I'll I I'll tell you what. Mind. What about a Martian space cunt? <laughs> Cut that out, Lomax. Oh, I didn't even knock the polish off your suede, Zani. Ha ha. Whatever you need, Mr. Templer, I've got it. You need a secret radio transmitter. Aerial. Microphone in that one. Battery in these. Beautiful, isn't it? Very interesting. And it works, too. It's a machine gun for firing capsules. I said cut it out. Um, real flower. Bugging device built in. Tell me what you want, Mr. Templer. If I haven't got it, I'll make it for you. Well, I uh, do have a couple of ideas. Arnie, why don't you go and pick up those road maps I asked for? I'll see you back at the car. Sorry, it took longer than I thought. I say, this is nice, isn't it? You've got it finished. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little beauty, isn't it? Mm. Looks great. Does it work? Of course, everything I make works. All you have to do is press that jigger there, and after that, it works automatically. It registers once every minute. Good. What about the rest of the equipment? Oh, it's in the van. I'll be ready and waiting when you get back. Well, I'd uh, better get moving. I have a long drive if I'm going to be there by three. Something else I brought for you. It's just a, a regular old-fashioned gun. Could come in handy. Thanks, but I prefer my own. Oh. OK. Well, um, good luck, Mr Templer. See you later. Hmm? Fine.
It's late. It's a long drive from Nice. Mm. That's our Mr. Smith. Keep out of sight unless something happens. Okay. Explain it. Explain what? Are you? Because Ben Kirsch asked me. Is that the money? I want to see Jenny first. She's all right. I'll decide that when I see her. Look, Templar, I am calling the shots here. You will see Jenny when you turn the money over. Okay. Bring it in. You pay, you go back to your hotel. Jenny will be taken to a place in Nice. You will be telephoned, told where to pick her up. All right? Not a chance. We do a direct trade. The money for the girl. You name the time and the place. Look, Templar, you haven't got a choice. Now, I want to see the money. All right. Just as a sign of good faith. Take a look. Keep coming. On your feet. You mustn't feel too bad, Lou. If I'd been you, I'd have hidden somebody outside too. Only a little better. We're not alone in this. If we're not back at the place in a couple of hours, they will kill him. Well, we have still time to do business, haven't we? You, open the case. What are you trying to pull? On the way here, somebody tried to bushwhack me. It could have been one of your boys. They wouldn't dare. Uh -huh. All right, then it could be somebody else wanting a piece of the action. So I made a little detour and hid the money. And it is going to stay hidden until you deliver Jenny. I want to see her. After that, uh, we'll arrange a transfer that's agreeable to both parties. You will have to be blindfolded. I know the rules. I've been to the movies. When you are satisfied, you will be driven back here. You collect the money and we make the swap. OK? You have a deal. Get the car out. Turn around. That should do it. Can't say a thing. You can still feel, though. Oh! You had that coming. Now we're starting it. Let's go. You might as well relax. We have a long drive. Well, wake me when it's over.
Have some coffee. It'll steady your nerves. Oh, come on, love. Won't be long. Don't touch me. I wouldn't touch you with a barge pole. You're just a big, fat piece of money to me. Anyone who pay a million dollars for a spot little brat like you needs his head examined. <laughs> Father, nearly there. There's been a change of plan. Well, it's not much, but I suppose you call it home. Who's the joker? Simon Templer. What? He wants to see Jenny before he pays. I thought you said that you were... Never mind what I said. Now we're playing it differently. Bring him in. Now you wait here. Watch him. What went wrong? He hid the money before he got to us. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. We could persuade him to tell us where it is. You could try him. Huh? A little working over and he'll be glad to talk. Something like... This! Some other time, eh? It's been a long, hot day. Lago, use your head. Oh, actually, he's been using nothing else. I think he was trying to persuade me to tell him where the money's hidden. Do you think that didn't occur to me? He could have a squad of gendarmes just waiting for us. Well, I thought... Well, don't! She's in here. Are you all right? Yes. Just get me away from here. Oh, I'm afraid I can't do that just yet. But they promised. They, they, they said it, as soon as my father sent the money, I could leave. Just a few hours more, that's all. I can't take any more. Jenny, it's going to be all right, I promise. Then hurry. Please hurry. That's enough. Sit down. Satisfied? <clears throat> now you two drive him back to the airfield, but watch him. I'll go and pick the money up, go back to my hotel. You call me at ten tonight. I'll give you instructions about the exchange. Who the blaze is running this deal anyway? <clears throat> I am because I pay. You can take it off now. You'd better be at that phone tonight. beginning to think you wouldn't make it. Well, there were moments when I thought so, too. How'd he go? Somebody tried to jump me on the way to the airfield. Who? Well, I didn't get a look at him. But I winged him, though. Unfortunately, not bad enough to stop him. I just hope this thing works. But I've told you everything I make works. This thing's a masterpiece. Here, see. Glass over the date window is ground to act as a lens. Circular disc of high-speed film rotates very slowly. The automatic shutter operates once every minute. Focus and aperture preset. And once the mechanism started, it takes a picture every 60 seconds. Well, do you suppose we could get it developed? We've only a couple hours more daylight left. Oh, um, would you draw the curtains? 
Arnie, bathroom door. Beauties, aren't they? Very good. Yeah, wearing that thing is better than the third eye. Yeah, well, I'd uh, better get started. You two wait here for me. I'll be back as soon as I can. You'll be waiting, Mr. Templer. Well, that's one gentleman I wouldn't like to tangle with. Me either. Well, come on. Let's Ooh. clear up. Miss Miller. Nothing. I just wrenched a shoulder. Who cares about milk? We'll soon have a million dollars. Kettle's boiling.
Well, let's get out of here. It won't take them long to find out they passed us. What's wrong? Who knows? It's a rented car. Bullet must have hit the gas tank. What can we do? Run. And keep on running. Believe me, they won't be far behind us. Nerves. Should have been back by now. Something's happened. Where's Templar? We haven't heard. Not a word. Did he see Jenny? Yes. Uh, he went back to get her nearly, uh, nearly six hours ago. Then something's wrong. You think we should go to the police? I, I don't know. No. Not well. Let's hope she's still alive. If Templars fail, they might still want to do a deal. We'll just have to wait and, and sweat it out. John must have been a Boy Scout. He has an uncanny, talented knack for tracking us. Did you see him? Yes, the other side of this hill. I'm so tired. Yeah, we're 15 miles from the nearest village. I can't walk another 15 miles. Well, you can try. Come on. Yeah. 
my reckoning, we're round about here. Well, we've still a long way to go. Mm. Across some of the most desolate country in France. John knew what he was doing when he picked this area up. Right. Do you think we've shaken him off? Well, we've covered a lot of ground since the last time he came close. We've backtracked, zigzagged. You should be safe enough here. Yeah? You're leaving? Yes, I can try and make it to the nearest village. Find a garage, rent a car. I'll be back as quick as I can. What'd you do that for? There's no point in signaling our position. Why don't you make yourself comfortable? Try and get some sleep. You wouldn't find me. Are you all right? Oh, I am now. <laughs> Where's Templar? He, he's gone to the village to rent a car. Did he tell you where the money is? No, but, but he will. What about the escape? He wasn't suspicious, was he? Oh, I don't think so. I was afraid I, I made it look rather easy. Lago and German aren't the best actors in the world, I tell you that. Oh, it, it all worked perfectly. Now. All you have to do is to convince him to pick the money up on your way back to Nice. I will. How does it feel to be in love with a genius? Yeah. Tell him. Or better still, tell both of us. How does it feel to be in love with a genius? How, how long have you, have you been there? Uh, long enough. I was waiting for Jean, too. You mean you knew all the time? Of course. I was suspicious about the escape. It was all too easy. A child of three could have hit me when I was climbing through that window. Well, uh, if you knew, then why did you go through with it? Well, it, uh, it amused me. Very ingenious, especially the bleeper in Jenny's compact. Every time she used it, it sent back our position. Simon, listen, please. I know setting this up is wrong, pretending to be kidnapped, but Jean and I are in love. We want to be married. I take it that uh, Daddy objects. Objects? He's impossible. Nobody's good enough for his little girl. No, it isn't just Jean. It's anybody. He's pathological about it. And this way, of course, you would have one million dollars to set up a house with. If you really knew my father, you wouldn't blame us. He's never given me any love or understanding or kindness. He's never given me anything. Oh, darling, I'm afraid he is going to give you plenty when he gets your back after this little caper. Oh, please, please tell us where the money is. You are joking. It means nothing to him. Nothing. Well, you try telling him that. You'll be fascinated. Jenny, we'll make our own way without the money. It was a mad idea anyway. You will let us go. Now, don't get me wrong, I am all for true love. But you've had quite a dance, you two. And now the piper must be paid. Namely, Daddy. Namely, us. Lago, uh, German, listen, uh, it's not necessary now because... Hey, what are you doing? Fritz Templer. You promised us $10,000 for our part in this. Well, you're not going to get it, are you? No, we're not. We're going to get all of it. Over there with another boy. Jean? What are they going to do? You are crazy. You don't really think that we were going to settle for a lousy $10,000 each, do you? You're the one that's crazy. Interesting situation. It's going to get more interesting, Mr. Templer. I promise you. I get this. I get it clear. 
These two lovebirds mean nothing to us. He's a big-headed, smart Alec, and she's a rich, spoiled brat. Killing them would be a pleasure. After what we've been put through for the last 24 hours, and kill them is exactly what we'll do, Mr. Dembler. If you don't take us to where the money is, they won't find you here for days. In the meantime, we'll be in South America. So it's up to you, Mr. Templer. Do they live or die? Well, if you uh, put it that way, I don't have much choice, do I? Well, let's get started. It'll be daylight soon. Barn up ahead, that's it. How did you find it? Passed it on the way to the airfield. Seemed as good a spot as any. Come on, get out, all of you. Lovebirds. Move! Okay, Templar, where is it? I said, where is it? Not far from the uh, cottage, there was a railway line. Now, where there are railway lines, there are telephones. Quit stalling. Get it! Anyway, I called Ben Kirsch. Now, if I know Ben Kirsch, he will have half the police force in France on their way here right now. Who do you think you're kidding? You couldn't possibly have known when you phoned Kirsch, if you phoned him, that we were coming here. Well, it was uh, worth a try. Templar, I mean it. The money. Or you die in five seconds. Simon, give it to them. Please, give it to them. OK. Anything to oblige a lady? Come on, Templar. Hurry it up. Finding a million dollars in a haystack takes a bit of doing. Here it is. Fellas, on your feet. The game's over. Sick alarm. Jenny! Jenny, baby! Are you all right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Thanks, Templar. You're welcome. I'll take the money. Hello. Just a moment. There's another one. You mean him? No. The third man's in the movie business. He slipped the ransom film into your dailies. Then he jumped me because he wanted all the action for himself. 
Arnie. He was my first choice. But I was wrong. I winged the man who jumped me. As for Jean, well, I guess you'll just have to listen to what he and Jenny have to say and decide whether or not you're going to prosecute. Templar, just tell me one thing. How could you have possibly known we were coming here? I thought you'd never ask. We had to, may I? You see, sooner or later, it always ends where the money is. Mm -hmm. 